teamed up with Harkila, specialists in outdoor wear for shooting, hunting and hiking. I've been invited to head office to see why their clothes are renowned worldwide for quality and performance. In this playlist we're going beneath the fabric, you'll see some of the best and newest pieces that are available and soon to come. Okay, good afternoon. Well, this is the Harkila Mountain Hunter jacket. There are many things in the Mountain Hunter series because this is our go-to, lightweight, very waterproof, not padded, not thick, not particularly warm, but it's a very good windproof, waterproof layer on the outside. So if it's cold, you can layer up, or if it's not, you can have very few layers on, and this is going to do a great job on the outside. One of the main things why we love this so much is it's, I don't know whether you can't hear that, but it's very, very quiet. It's a soft, can you see that as a peach cloth material? It is much stronger than it looks. It doesn't catch, it doesn't snag. It is a really, really clever jacket because it is so quiet. And as long as you don't make a huge noise when you're walking around over sticks, this, your clothing, will not let you down and not frighten the deer. This is a shorter um, European style jacket, which seems to be the, the fashion these days. More and more people are wearing these, obviously for rifle shooting and sometimes for uh, um, pheasant shooting as well. Uh, I was lucky enough to be invited on a uh, pheasant shoot and a oh, mixed partridge and pheasant shoot uh, with the editor of the Field magazine who turned up in a jacket like this with a cartridge belt um, on quite a, a, a nice shoot on an estate that he knew the people very well, which was great. So more people are wearing these shorter jackets and this is a really, really good one. Um, it's Gore-Tex, as you can see by a darn great label there. And um, the Gore-Tex is a two and a half layer system. So if you look inside, again, I hope this is gonna show up on camera because it's not instantly obvious, but this is a, a mesh lining on the inside and then underneath. Can you pick that up under there, Alex? You see that there is a Gore-Tex membrane where you've got seams and things, you can just about see it through there underneath. And that is laminated to the inside of this outside material. So this is like a half lining, which is why they call it two and a half layer. It's obviously you'd wear this with trousers as well because you'd want to keep dry everywhere. This is the latest version of the Mountain Hunter. We've done one or two in the past. Uh, and this is a really, really great version that they've been, it's been in the range for a few years now. You've got a good five mil, tough, durable zip on the outside. These things are the most important. If you've got a cheap, crappy zip, it's, it's, really, it's really bad. This is a YKK zip and YKK easily make uh, some of the best zips that there are available in the world today. We use the water resistant zips on the pocket. Can you see you've got, got a laminated piece on either side and that sits together to stop the water not completely waterproof that would be very difficult but it's very water resistant indeed these tags don't have little pulls on the end of them if you're in a windy situation they flap around and make quite a lot of noise so we don't per do them on purpose not just because we're mean we don't have those tags so they don't flap around and make a noise so you've got pockets on either side these are pretty big as you can see got my whole hand in there they're this sort of size pocket easily enough for your kit as a chest pocket this is a rifle shooting thing rather than a shotgun shooting one by design obviously nothing up here so you could shoot a sh shotgun quite easily you've got two zips here and this is so you can have a radio and you put a radio in here and then you'd have a an aerial or something like that sticking out at the top. This is a very much a continental shooting um, a thing that they have radios to go with them which either keep them in touch with their dog or their mates. So in the UK that tends not to be quite the same. We have a phone and we don't, not that far apart from everybody but um, if you go to Sweden or Norway you are miles away from your fellows and if you get into trouble, uh, have an accident, whatever happens, you really want to be in touch with them and so that's what the radios are for. So they use at least one radio, if not two sometimes. On top of the shoulder you have these pads. This is um, kind of a rubberized pad and that's designed to grip your um, uh, 
sling that goes on your rifle or rucksack. Um, it's really meant something doesn't, uh, your rifle doesn't fall off your shoulder as you're walking around. You've got a removable hood. This is a zip feature here, so that just unzips and studs down. It's made in exactly the same way as the body, so just as waterproof. Some uh, garments have a very cheap hood stuck on top of a nice jacket. This is made in exactly the same way as the jacket with this two and a half layer system. And most of the hoods that we do have a wire in the front, as you can see, that's a, a wired front. And so it doesn't flop down in front of your eyes. That would be really quite bad if you're out shooting something or looking for quarry. Sleeves are slightly over long and they have these uh, Velcro tabs that you tighten up around your wrist. On the back, the back is very plain. There are no pockets, there are no game pockets. It just does a damn good job in this material. A fewer seams that you have, the better in, in construction, really. Yep, there are seams here, but there need to be for, for pockets, etc. Really nice quality, lightweight, designed for somebody who's moving around, not absolutely the top of a mountain, but somebody is walking around through the forestry or wherever. Somebody is gonna be active when you're out hunting. Um, this is a perfect jacket for you. Thanks to Simon for that demonstration. In the next video, we're gonna look at exactly the same type of jacket, but it's gonna be in the smock version. I hope you're enjoying these videos. It's been great to put them together. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button now, and I'll see you for the next video.